few movies stick with you long after the credits roll. Movies nowadays are more of a content vehicle than entertainment. When I look back at some of my favorite movies, they're not all Oscar winners, but are successful in their own right. Demolition Man is one such film. It was a successful film for Stallone, earning a box office of $159.1 million over a budget of $57 million. There are so many iconic and memorable moments in the film, from the look of the set design and futuristic cars, to the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger is president of the United States of America, to even Taco Bell being a restaurant of sophistication and class for the ultra-wealthy. I often think about the film every time I pass a Taco Bell or see a Tesla Model T zooming through the streets. It's a classic, a cult classic, and it stood the test of time in its themes of law and order and class in America. Long story short, Demolition Man is a great satirical action movie. There are two things I love about the film. Let's talk about it. Number one, simplicity of its storytelling. The story of Demolition Man is great because of its simplicity in storytelling. Hardened cop John Spartan attempts to take down megalomaniac Simon Phoenix and fails so spectacularly that he is imprisoned for it. However, unlike a normal prison, John Spartan and Simon Phoenix are cryogenically frozen for their prison sentences. Decades later, John Spartan is awoken from his cryo sleep only to find that the world he once knew has faded away. L.A. has merged with Santa Barbara to become San Angeles. Its denizens are now PG-rated, jingle-loving adults who deplore cursing and love armor hot dog jingles. And the only reason Spartan was awoken from his cryo sleep was to catch the notorious Simon Phoenix, who was released days earlier. We as the audience find out that due to an early parole hearing, Simon Phoenix was brought out of cryosleep and escaped prison, causing destruction and murder wherever he went. Phoenix has also been given several upgrades while in cryosleep that have enhanced his combat and computer programming skills. Can Spartan stop his new and improved old nemesis and protect the citizens of San Angeles? Like, that is a great synopsis for a movie, right? And just the names, John Spartan and Simon Phoenix, like, they're very colorful, very... It, it, you can evoke imagery from that, right? Demolition Man was directed by Marco Brambilla, who directed Excess Baggage and the Kanye West music video for Power. The film of Demolition Man was written by Peter Lenkoff, producer and behind the TV series 24, Hawaii 5 and the film R.I.P.D. Robert Renault, writer of Action Jackson, the TV series for both Tales from the Crypt and The Hitchhiker, and Daniel Waters, writer for such films as Hudson Hawk, the cult classic Hellers, and Batman Returns. Number two, Wesley motherfucking Snipes. Have you ever watched a movie and noticed the characters in the movie are great, but one actor seems to be doing most of the heavy lifting for the entire film? That is Wesley Snipes, who plays the iconic Simon Phoenix. Stallone is playing his typical Stallone character, which is fine. And Sandra Bullock is an adorable and sexy Lieutenant Lenina Huxley. However, Wesley Snipes seems to be going above and beyond with his role. Whenever Wesley Snipes is on screen, he demands attention. It's not only because of his platinum blonde fade and heterochromia. He just seems to be giving up more energy than all the other actors. And this role was originally supposed to be played by Jackie Chan. Surprise, yep. That Jackie Chan, a friend of Stallone, who was originally eyed for the role of Simon Phoenix, according to IMDb. Quote, Sylvester Stallone wanted Simon Phoenix to be played by Jackie Chan. Chan declined the offer since Asian audience give negative feedback on the idea of action stars from either Hong Kong or Hollywood who have always played heroes, all of a sudden becoming typecasted as villains. End quote. Wesley Snipes was too fast to film. I'm serious. According to IMDb, Wesley's fight scenes look delayed and awkward. The reason for this is that Wesley's fight choreography was so fast that it blurred on camera. The filmmakers told him, slow down. Even still, 
Wesley's kicks and punches have a snappiness and impact to them that I've always loved to see. It's the same flair he displayed in the criminally underrated film, Blade. Snipes embodied the role of Simon Phoenix so well that he intentionally flustered his fellow actors. Source from IMDb, quote, No one knew that Wesley Snipes could speak Spanish. The scene in which Phoenix mocks the warden by repeating everything he says in Spanish was not scripted. Snipes decided to do this on the day of filming without telling anyone. So the hesitation and confusion reaction, confused reaction by the warden is genuine. End quote. If I have to give a rating, I'll give it this. I'm sorry, Demolition Man, it's a great film. Because of the people who came together and created the film. From concept to execution, everything was done with such care. The film holds a special place in my heart. And you don't see a lot of movies like this nowadays um, where, you know, everyone in the film, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what type of film they're in. They're not trying to win an Oscar or anything like that, but they're giving it their all. It's a fun movie. You can tell people that are making the film, they're having fun. And I miss those movies. I know I always talk about like movies from decades ago and it was just, there's a, just a different way of attempting to make a film and, and bringing everyone together to make those films. And yes, some people, you may not like Demolition Man. That's fine. That's totally fine. But I've always gone back and rewatched it for some reason. And it's because it's fun. It's because I love the themes. You know, Dennis Leary's in it. He does a great job. You know, if a, uh, I wouldn't say a cult leader, but a rebel, rebel leader fighting for the power for the poor and disenfranchised. Um, there's just so many great actors, character actors in this film. I believe the late Bill Cobb, um, rest in power, sir. Um, he was in this film as well. He was the um, senior cop to John Spartan and Lenina Huxley. Um, he was also in the film with uh, Wesley Snipes in, uh, they believe, New Jack City. So, yeah, he's he another great, great actor. Um, but yeah, uh, the, I, I really love Demolition Man. I obviously want you guys to look at it for yourself. If you've never seen it, it's on Tubi. You know, I always big up Tubi. You know, they have a lot of great films, a lot of great shows. So, and they're free. So, <laughs> I'm not sponsored. So, um, but yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, that's all I got. If you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, see you later. Tabs out.